Hey everyone, welcome back to part two, uh, which is the final video of the installation of my Dorian Quadra Quick Change Tool Post. catch up on where we were last week I showed you about the disassembly of the of the compound slide uh, the CAD modeling and making of the European style uh, boss plug that inserts from underneath the compound slide now we're going to look at the actual CNC machining of the compound slide to fit the boss plug and installation of the tool post I do apologize I don't cover CNC on this channel and I was a bit lazy. I was, I was actually going to put it in the manual mill and use a boring head and bore it all out. And I thought, look, I just want to use the bloody thing. So instead of, um, you know, I could have done it. But I'm quite capable to do it. But instead of wasting all day doing that, I thought, why not just throw it in the CNC machine and get it done? So using my CAD system, I switched over into the CAM software and applied just a couple of simple tool paths. Okay. Now, I use in here just a pocket tool path using a 12 millimeter end mill. Uh, now this is cast, so I didn't go and buy a special end mill for cast. I had a I had a pretty old aluminium one there. I thought this is going to cut easily. Um, just I just need to slow down the RPM. Um, I'm not going to smash it at 10,000 RPM. So I set the cutter up to about 2,000 RPM, and I think the feed rate was very conservative. I think it was around 300 millimeters per minute. Now, when I'd finished the boring operations on the underneath side, I flipped the compound slide back up to its correct orientation, and I needed to come in from the top now and drill and tap four holes. Now, once again, I just used the center of the bore as my G54. Now, G54 is a work coordinate system. Uh, I told it that the center of the hole is zero, zero, so all other movements will be plus or minus in the X and Y axis. And I just popped in here with a Sutton spot drill to spot drill those holes. Then popped in with a five millimeter high speed drill bit to do some deep drilling. Now you'll notice that I'm doing PEC drilling with full retract. My controller doesn't do partial retracts. It will only handle the G code for full retract. Um, but that's okay because I wanted to clean that swarf out and uh, I, I was very, very careful doing this job and maybe I shouldn't have been, but the old coal chest has got some age to it and I don't think I'll ever find another compound feed to fix it if I break a drill bit off in it or something like that or, or stuff it. So that's why I just took my time. I didn't power tap this, I'm just going to do it by hand. Uh, the machine could have done it easily, but yeah, I, I chickened out. I'm just going to do it by hand. It's only cast, it goes in there like butter. I should have, I should have used the machine, but anyway, it didn't happen. Just give that hole a blowout. Uh, 
Okay, once that was done, it was time to insert the boss. Now, I put a little bit of uh, blue Loctite on it, and as you can see here, the first um, part of the boss was pretty much uh, size, size to size, and it just went into the hole uh, very, very nicely. But the larger diameter of the boss, which I deliberately made, I gave it a little bit of interference fit, and I think it was around uh, 0.0, .0 one mil or two zero point zero two mil or something like that so um and it just needed a little bit of persuasion with a hammer and a brass drift to knock that into place and uh, not a problem at all now once the boss was inserted uh, to turn this into a european style tool post of course i could then reassemble the compound uh, mechanism and put it all back on the lathe Rightio, I've got the compound slide back on. I've, you can see I've got the plug that I put in here. It's all bolted up. It's a little bit tight on the gib. I might see how that goes and adjust it later on. So we can put the bolt in now, the big bolt. And that's 5.8 UNF, so 18 TPI. I'm just going to put a little bit of Loctite on that. It's not red. Okay, now I can slip this down over the top. And a bigger lot, my two inch PCD that I did on my metric milling machine should work. And those holes are lined up beautifully. back them off a little bit last two I'd uh, run out of Loctite and uh, had to steal my neighbor's Loctite and he's sitting behind me off camera now these four bolts hold the locking ring down the big center post is what takes the bulk of the load The old mechanic coming out of me, swinging on that like a monkey. All right. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Here we go. Tool number one. We'll slide that down over there just gently. That goes on there. Put the locking mechanism on. I've got to bolt that down as well. All right, I'll bring you back in a minute. Now there was only one slight problem I had with the installation after t tightening down the, um, the adjusting handle. You'll notice that when I pulled tight on it, the lever was hitting me in the stomach. So the lever was going too far to lock it. Right, oh, you can see I've got the, uh, everything mounted up now, the tool post, the tools in here. Um, I really like the setup. I really like how you can get four tools around the tool post. However, that may not be practical at times because you might not have enough stick out. So you'll just have to remove one of the tools. What I want to do now is make up a one millimeter spacer. When I lock my handle for the tool poster index, it's actually facing me right here. And I feel it's in my road. Now I've worked out by using a one mil shim that it should bring it back to around here somewhere. Okay, and that will suit my purpose better. So let's give it a try, eh? Let's cut some chips.
what I need to do is um, part this washer, this spacer off now. I'm, I'm aiming for one mil. Uh, I'm just going to go in 40 thou, which is, you know, fly shit over one mil and uh, have a crack at it. Let's go. Right, the moment of truth, I've uh, made the washer. I just gave it a quick tickle on the surface grinder. I'm gonna take this nut off here. And then what I'm gonna do is undo, unclamp the tool post, line this up. Okay, you can see the spacer here. Right, so there's the washer. I gave it a tickle on the surface grinder. I've lubricated it with oil, and I'm going to slide that down. It's a, a bloody perfect fit. I'm happy with that. I'm going to put this down here, this ring. Now I'm going to screw the arm back on, and hopefully that one millimeter spacer has moved that arm for me. There you go. I'm happy with that. This is the locking mechanism that pulls the tool post down to the table. Righto, there we have it. Off, I can rotate it, I can bring it back around, lock it up and it's not hitting me in the stomach. It's out of the way of the camera, I'm happy with that. I can get access to those four posts as well. Now, when I bought the Dorian tool post, I also got some other tools with it um, from Arthur at Live Tools. And Arnie sent me over some of these boring bars. And uh, not only that, he sent me the sleeves that fit the Dorian tool post holder as well. So now I've got some proper sleeves at any time I can change them out or down the track, buy some more boring bar holders for the Dorian and fit these other three boring bars up, okay? so. Um, very very happy with these inserts they they seem to cut like high-speed steel so I'm very impressed with the inserts as well overall I'm very very happy with the Dorian quick change tool post it's a, a exceptional piece of kit very high quality um, I don't have any faults or problems with it I'm happier than a pig in mud to be honest with you and uh, I feel very lucky to have gotten this and um, like I said, they're not cheap, but they're worth every, every cent. Okay, well that concludes today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember to come back on, th on Thursday, so Australian time. So it'll be lunchtime Thursday. So this week I'll be interviewing Stephen from Texture Design and it should be good. Let's join in. They're, they're about, they go from 15 to 30 minutes, the live, the live streams. Feel free to jump in, join in, have a chat on the chat line. I'd love to have you there. Um, for the USA people, that will be the day before. So it'll be Wednesday uh, evening between 5 and 8 o'clock at night, depending if you live on the East Coast or West Coast. Love to see you there. Thanks again for joining in. And uh, Big shout out and thank you uh, from Arthur from Live Tools. He really looked after me with this deal. Um, thank you, Arthur. Um, I really appreciate it. Catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.